Today we're going to look at French acronyms versus English acronyms. Are they the same? Are they different? You're going to find out today. Salut! My name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Belter Academy. So recently I was asked to proofread a translation from French to English and I came across the word ADN. If you're wondering what does ADN stand for, well, this acronym is simply how you would say DNA in English. That's right. So looking over this proofreading, that was actually a mistake and an English speaker is going to look at ADN, ADN and be like, what is that? Especially if they don't know any French. However, if you notice, it is the same letters, but they're just put in a different order. So what do we first learn? First of all, we learn that the acronyms in English and French can be different, but get this, some of them can be the same. Let me teach you three basic ones that we use all the time that are the same in English and in French. So RSVP, RSVP is the same in English and in French. If you don't know what RSVP stands for, cause it is originally French, watch this video next so it can explain it better to you. AFQ, that's another one. Hey, frequently we ask questions or foire aux questions, foire aux questions, FAQ is the same in English and French. And one you definitely look for once in a while when you're traveling and everybody knows what that one stands for. When you need to go, you need to go, right? WC, hein? the water closet. <laughs> that is also one of the acronyms that is the same in English and French. Now let's look at ones that are different. But before I teach you some of these basic ones that are different from French and English, please subscribe to the channel, like this video if you're already getting something useful out of it. So I mentioned that DNA is ADN in French, so DNA, ADN, MRI is RMI, MRI, RMI, and going along with health, actually if you need to learn more about health and lingo in French, you're also going to want to watch this video. But to say AIDS, you say SIDA, AIDS, SIDA. And a little last one, pour la route, for the road as we say, IPA, and I'm not talking about the beverage, IPA standing for International Phonetic Alphabetic is actually API in French. So that was just a glimpse of some of the most common ones. If you'd like a full free lesson on these different acronyms, comment below with your email address and I will send you a 14 page handout, kid you not, which is a handout you can download for free and learn these little by little. The key to memorizing them is simply using them and looking over them little by little. Also, are you subscribed to getting our weekly newsletter where I'm sharing tips, not just on learning French, but on how to master a language for a lifetime? If you're not, you're gonna to wanna to click the link below in the video description so that you can receive these weekly newsletters helping you master the French language and be fluent in a language for a lifetime. A bientôt tout le monde!